I've always been interested in promoting Orkney. I'm a, a very enthusiastic Arcadian, I'd like to think, and I'm proud of what Orkney and Arcadians produce. So when I got a chance to be involved in the food and drink sector and all the quality produce there and the creative Orkney sector where we have jewellery and pottery and all that stuff as well, it just seemed like a brilliant job if, if I was lucky enough to get it. So really it was a no-brainer for me to apply for it. The Orkney brand is the foundation. I think that every single business that I work with in both sectors builds on. That is the foundation that we're all proud of. It's common to us all. And it's such a, a fantastic USP, if you like. We're on a beautiful island off the north of Scotland. There are no dune sides to that, so why wouldn't you? They all initially and primarily promote Orkney and the Orkneyness of what they do, and then they build their own brand on top of that. We went to Country Levine Christmas Fair at the end of 2019 and actually 2018 and we went there as an Orkney stand. So there was Creative Orkney and Taste of Orkney but we were all together in one big stand and it was an impressive sight, if I should say so myself. The, the stand was really classy looking and it had such a, a, a varied mix of, of products, food and drink and jewellery and pottery and clothing and just various things. So. It shows Orkney in a fantastically good light and, and certainly when we're at events like that, the amount of people that come up and say, you know, I wish we could do this with our area. So I'm really proud of that. I think we're, as Orkney and as Arcadians, we really are ahead of the, the game in most cases. There was a, a craft trail in, in Orkney that was started more than two decades ago, um, but it had got a, a, a wee bit tired. Um, the signage had sort of past its sell by date, shall we say. So reviewing and rebranding that as the creative trail, new signage, an entirely new look and feel to the brochure, um, and new members joining it has been one of the big, big ticket items for Creative Orkney. For the food and drink sector, we have a number of events that we do. We support a lot of the local festivals, the folk festival, the science festivals, the Magnus Festival. We also have a a parish cup of food, which is kind of a fun event for the, the Orkney parishes. And we do the food awards biennially. All the members are up for nomination and for votes for the best in various different categories. And we do uh, a, another biennial show, the, the Master Chef, which has proved to be extremely popular. We've done it in different iterations. So there's loads of things that we do on Orkney as well as Ootworth. But if there hadn't have been leader funding, this role wouldn't have existed, um, or certainly not in its, in its form that it has been over the last year. And that, I think, everybody would agree, means that a lot of the things that have happened as a result of it wouldn't have happened either. So, obviously, we have Highlands and Islands Enterprise, and we have the Council as well, and they're very important to us. But without leader funding over these last five or six years, the steps forward that have been made just wouldn't have been made. There's no question about that. <laughs>